Let's talk about another method that you could do that. That's IV vitamin C. Yes. Um, we hear a lot about that as well. How does that work and, and what kind of levels are we talking about? Because a lot of people take an oral vitamin C supplement. Yes. This is a, a, a great question because vitamin C as well has been around for many years. And first of all, the properties of vitamin C that we all know, it's antimicrobial. Why is antimicrobial a good uh, therapy for cancer? Because we know that fungus, bacteria, pathogenic viruses, and other uh, microbes play a key role in cancer and chronic disease. So you want to have something like IV vitamin C that has the antimicrobial effect. The second benefit of vitamin C is that, of course, it stimulates the immune system, right? And uh, we all want to have an optimal immune system. And later, maybe, Scott, we could talk about, uh, uh, about it's not only good to have a, an optimal immune system, but an immune system that is able to see the cancer cells. Because one of the mechanisms of cancer survival is that it's developed ways to cloak or shield itself from being seen by the immune system, right? So vitamin C will upregulate the immune system. It has antimicrobial benefits. It has um, anti-cancer effects as well, direct anti-cancer effects. Uh, and then it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, as well. So the important thing is the dosage. What dose are we doing intravenously? There's a bit of, you know, a little bit of controversy what the ideal dose is. In Hope for Cancer, we like to use about 25 grams a day. It is pretty much known that at 15 grams or above IV, vitamin C becomes a pro-oxidant. That means it has the cancer-fighting effect. 15 grams or below, it's an antioxidant. That's where it's going to have the anti-inflammatory effect, the antimicrobial effect. Of course, you get that as well in higher doses, but you really rev up the anti-cancer effect at higher dosage. So ideally, it's three IVs a, a week, right, of 25 grams or more. I've gone up to 100 grams, 125 grams, and it's very safe. Um, it's not going to cause stones in the kidney as it's commonly uh, said to be, you know. It's not going to happen. Make sure the patient is well hydrated. Uh, one of the important things about the type of vitamin C that's given IV is to make sure it's beet derived, beets from beets, not corn, because as we know, 90% of the corn is GMO, right? Yeah, so we want to beet derived. We want a slow infusion. That's where I don't agree with other uh, practitioners that they give an IV infusion at high dose of vitamin C in about an hour, sometimes in 45 minutes. Vitamin C is water soluble. What does that mean? What the body doesn't use it up, it's going to just urinate it out, right? So if you give vitamin C and IV at those high dosages too fast, you're just gonna have a very expensive <laughs> urine. So we like to drip a uh, high dose of vitamin C in about three hours, sometimes four hours when we get to very higher, you know, higher uh, dosages.